In this video tutorial, we will download the ImageJ software. We will set scale for photographs and for scanned images. We will calculate the percentage of disease damage for a few sample of leaves and for multiple plants. We will also count the number of lesions on the same leaf from a scanned image and a field photograph. The first step, of course, is always to download the ImageJ software. In order to do that, you need to go to the ImageJ site, which in this case is imagej.nih.gov ij. When you are there, click on download and choose the appropriate operating system, which in my case is Mac OS X. For you, it might be Windows or Linux. You click the link, download the program. Another possibility is to download Fiji, which is a batteries included version of ImageJ that has many plugins already downloaded into the system. The procedure is the same. You go to the website, you click the appropriate operating um, system, download, and um, open up the program. Um, you can also download other plugins into ImageJ. Uh, one example might be Wicca segmentation for training ImageJ to automatically process images. In order to set scale for a photograph, first open the file. Go to File, Open, and navigate to where the file is located. Select the image and click Open. On many computers, you can also drag the image onto ImageJ's graphical user interface and the file will open. Our first example for setting scale in this case is a photograph. This is a photograph of blackberry leaves laid flat on a piece of white copy paper. It was taken with a Sony DSC RX100 compact digital camera in a room with only ceiling lights. If taking photographs indoors, use a tripod to keep the camera steady in the same spot for the whole set of images, and lay the leaves on a high contrast background, like this white sheet of copy paper. Include a reference object of known size in the image, like the ruler in this image, so the image can be scaled. The reference object used for scaling a photograph should always be large and near the object of interest. Now that the file is open, select the straight line tool from the graphical user interface. Draw a line to an object of known size, in this case the 5 inch ruler, holding down shift to keep the line straight as you do it. Go to analyze, set scale. To set the scale of the line you just drew to 5 inches, change the known distance to 5 and the unit of length to inch. Notice the global box as well. When the global block option is checked, the same scale will be applied to all images opened after this until image J is quit or a new scale is set. This can be useful if a whole set of images were taken at the same scale. Go ahead and click OK. We're going to save a copy of this scaled image because we're going to use it later. You can go to File, Save as TIFF. We'll just go ahead and save. The first step in scaling scanned images is to obtain the image pixel dimensions, resolution, and physical size. On a Mac, the image's physical size in inches, its DPI, and its pixel dimensions can be obtained by opening the image in preview and going to Tools, Adjust Size. The second step to scaling a scanned image is to import the image to image J. We're just going to do the drag and drop technique this time around. This is a scanned image of a tomato leaf from an Epson Perfection V800 flatbed scanner. Next we're going to go to Analyze, Set Scale. Notice that the pixel dimensions for the image are listed in the upper left corner of the image in image J. Enter 3400 as the width of the image and the distance in pixels, 
and then go back to our preview page, we notice that the width of the image is 8.5 inches. We're going to put 8.5 and then fill inch for unit of length. You can do whatever you want with global. If you have a whole set of images that are same scale, go ahead and check it. If not, just click OK. And now our image is scaled, and we are going to go ahead and save a copy of that scaled image. So we're going to go File, Save As, TIFF, go ahead and save. Do you remember the blackberry leaf photograph from earlier? The lesions on the leaf area are actually from Mopsis leaf blight. We are going to measure the total area of the leaves, and then we are going to measure the diseased area of the leaves. With that information, we can calculate the percentage of disease damage. So let's get started. First, let's separate the leaf from the background. Go to Image, Adjust, Color Threshold, and adjust the hue, saturation, and brightness to select the entire leaf area. In this case, the hue range from 0 to 110 works pretty well. And then we can play with the saturation and brightness. These values vary depending upon the image. Click Select when you are satisfied. Next, go to Process, Binary, Make Binary. To convert the color image to a binary black and white image. Um, we'll, we'll need to remove large clusters of pixels that are not part of the leaves. So go ahead and double click on the paintbrush tool um, and put 50 in for the brush width and white for the color and then make sure that the paint on overlay box is unchecked and click OK. Uh, go ahead and erase the pixels that are not part of the leaf. You only get one undo here, so if you um, erase part of the leaf, you have to start over. After you've done that, ordinarily, if there were small, small clusters of pixels you wanted to get rid of, you would go to Process, um, remove outliers, um, process noise, remove outliers. Um, but in this case, we don't actually have any small specs, so we can go ahead and skip this step. Um, now you want to go to analyze, um, and then set measurements. Go ahead and select area and limit to threshold, and then make sure that all the other boxes are unchecked. Click OK. Finally, go to Analyze and um, Measure. Uh, another way to do this is to just do Control M. Um, both of those will measure the area. Um, go ahead and record the area from the results window um, for the total leaf. So we're going to say total leaf area, which in this case is 11.017. Go ahead and minimize that again. And just keep the results open. Um, and if you want to save the process image, go ahead and do that. Um, save it by a unique name. Um, Go dash total. Then we're going to close that image and we're going to open up the same image again. Um, except this time we're going to capture the area of the diseased leaf area. Um, so you want to go to um, the image adjust color threshold again, or in this case just click on the threshold window because it's already open. Um, and then hue range from 0 to 40 works well in this case. Um, we're going to play with the saturation and brightness again until we're satisfied. Um, OK, 
Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, we're going to click Select. And um, then we're going to go to Process, Binary, Make Binary. Uh, and notice there's um, some large pixels here and some little pixels. Um, we already have the paintbrush tool selected. We're going to go ahead and erase those. Now in this case there are a few small pixels that are actually difficult to get with the paintbrush. So we're going to go to um, process, um, noise, and remove outliers. Um, we're going to select uh, five um, and we want it to be um, dark outliers. I'm going to select the preview button and as you can see um, that actually probably gets rid of a little bit too much in this case, so we're going to select this down a little bit. We do one. Okay, so one does a pretty good job, so we'll go ahead and select it. Okay, and then finally, um, once again, we want to go to um, the Control M or the um, the um, analyze um, measure, how do those will work? And in this case, um, we have an area of 2.059. We'll go ahead and record that as diseased leaf area. And then if you want to save a copy of the image, just go ahead and save it with a unique name. Um, and we can actually probably close that at this point. And then in order to calculate the percentage of disease damage, we want to um, Go ahead and divide the disease leaf area by the total leaf area and then um, multiply that whole thing by a hundred. And there you have it. That's the percentage of disease damage. We just captured the percentage of disease damage for a few sample leaves. But what about capturing the percentage of disease damage for multiple plants? Let's pull up another image. This is a photograph of cucumber plants on metallized plastic mulch taken with a Sony DSC RX100 compact digital camera. They have downy mildew and the damage is displayed as necrosis on the vines. Go to Image, Adjust, Color Threshold to separate the canopy from the background. Set hue between 0 and 122. Saturation between 58 and 255. And brightness between 9 and 255. Click select when you are satisfied. Now that the canopy is selected, we will need to set the background color to white. Go to image, color, and then um, color picker. Double click the, um, the B in the CP window, and then fill 255 in for all three cells in the background color window. Then click OK, and then close the CP window. Go to Edit, and then Clear Outside. Since we set the background color to white, um, clearing outside will result in a white background. The next step is to use the paintbrush tool or process noise remove outliers to remove pixels that are not leaves. We are just going to go ahead and use the paintbrush tool. So um, deselect and then use the paintbrush tool. Still have the settings from earlier. Brush with 50, color white, 
I'm paint on overlay, not checked. Okay. Um, and we're just gonna remove all this junk. Um, now another way to do this actually, which might make it a little bit faster, just gonna use the freehand selection tool for some of this junk. Okay, and then um, clear outside again. There we go. And deselect that. And then select the paintbrush tool and get stuff a little bit closer. Love that shortcut. Um, actually, this stuff is pretty small, so um, I'm going to go ahead and um, process. Um, noise, remove outliers. Okay, let's see how big the outliers need to be in order for this to work. We still have dark selected, um, maybe like five in this case. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. You can go ahead and select that. Okay. Um, so then we cleared all of the uh, noise and we cleared the background. Um, so we're going to save this image. File save as TIFF uh, with a unique name. Um, no background. We're going to save. And then um, we're going to close that image. And we're going to um, open it again. There we go. Now that kind of resets it so we can um, select threshold again without it resetting the image. So we're going to go to our threshold color picker. Um, we're going to try to select the entire um, image area. And because we changed some things around, um, we can't use the same settings. We have to play with it a little bit, and that seems to work, so we're going to go ahead and select that. Um, now we're going to go to Process Binary Make Binary, uh, which makes our image into a binary image, and then we're going to go to Analyze Measure or Control M, um, and then we're going to record the results from that. Now notice that this is actually still in pixels, but it doesn't really matter because we're using this information to um, get the, um, the um, percentage of disease damage. Um, so anyway, this is the total canopy area, um, which in this case is 79896540. Now that we've got that recorded, um, we're going to go ahead and um, save this processed image with a unique name. So there we go. Um, this one is um, total. Go ahead and save that. And then we're going to um, close that image. We're going to open up the um, scale, the, the no background image again. We're going to do the same thing, except we're going to capture the disease canopy area. So let's go to our color threshold. Um, we're going to go 0 to 45. And then um, saturation between 0 and 155. And then um, the brightness, we're going to go um, from 0 to 254. Um, go ahead and select. Then we're going to go to um, process binary make binary. Um, and that gives us the um, diseased leaf area. We're going to just um, measure and record um, disease canopy 
area, which in this case is 504350. And then in order to calculate the percentage of disease damage, we are going to divide the diseased canopy area by the total canopy area. And then we're going to multiply that whole thing by 100. And voila. And then we're going to save as TIFF. Diseased. <laughs> A real problem with the word diseased. There we go. And then close image. The next data we will be collecting is the number of lesions on the leaf. We will begin by using the tomato leaf scan, which was our example for setting scale for scanned images. The tomato leaf has bacterial leaf spot displayed as small dots on the back of the leaf. Begin by selecting the rectangle tool on the image graphical user interface. Select the smallest rectangle possible around the leaf. Go to Image, Crop. And then go to Image, Adjust, Color Threshold. Select the leaf spots. A hue between 0 and 47, saturation between 0 and 255, and then brightness between 0 and 147 should work in this case. Go ahead and click select. All right, now go to um, process binary, make binary to convert the color image to a binary image. Uh, notice that there's a leaf outline. Um, one helpful trick when removing pixels from a binary image is to pull up the original image just so you can compare and contrast. So we're gonna go ahead and do that And magnify. You can do that by Command Shift Plus. Um, so you can take a look at the image, see what it is we're looking at here. All right. Now you want to select the paintbrush tool. Um, we really care about the leaf spots that are on the edge of the leaf, so we're just gonna um, go ahead and erase. Okay. So we got rid of the outline, but there's also a lot of little spots that don't really look like their um, leaf spot inside here. So we're also going to get rid of some of the noise. Uh, this, so then that first step gets rid of the large pixel clusters. Now we're getting rid of the small pixel clusters. Um, in this case, let's see, we're looking at um, radius of 5 isn't super great. It gets rid of some spots that are leaf spots. What about radius of 1? Um, that is a little bit better. We're just getting rid of um, little spots that do not appear to have any relevance. We're going to go ahead and click OK for that. And then next we want to go to Analyze and then Analyze Particles. Um, there's a lot of different options in this window that are relevant. Um, the default for size is particle sizes of 0 to infinity. This will select um, particles by size, all of the particles by size. Um, and then it doesn't matter if it's pixel units or not in this case um, because we're counting the number of particles. Um, uh, and then as far as circularity goes, 0 is something that's completely not a circle, and then 1 is a perfect circle. Um, we like to have visual data, so I'm going to go ahead and um, click on um, outlines for what to show. This is going to make an image that has the outlines of um, the dots. Um, we do want to display the results of the analysis. Um, we do want the summary of the analysis. Um, we do want to clear previous results, and so all those are checked. Um, we want to exclude any dots that are on the edges, like if the image had dots on the edges, we would get rid of that. 
um, we want to include holes, that means that if there was, say, like a circle and then another circle inside of that, it would count that as just one. That's what we want here. So um, that's good. And the other stuff, we want to leave it unchecked, so go ahead and click OK. So there we go. Um, this is the processed image, even further processed. Um, all these little red dots, if you scroll in, those are the numbers. So, uh, so those are. Uh, the summary gives the total number of particles. Um, so we can go ahead and record that. Uh, we'll say scan um, spots. Total count zero one zero five, um, and then the results gives the area of each individual spot. Uh, so now if we want, we can um, save a copy of the different, various different images. So go ahead and file save as TIFF. Still want scan a tomato for this. Dash drawing. Go ahead and save that. File save as TIFF. Um, scan. There we go. This next example, we will perform the same lesion counts on a field photograph of the same leaf. Let's go ahead and import the image. Okay, the image was taken with an iPhone 7 smartphone. Um, since the leaf was not laid flat, its edges were curling. The outdoor lighting also decreased the color contrast between the healthy leaf tissue and the diseased tissue, so overall fewer leaf spots will be detectable. Go ahead and select the freehand selection tool from the ImageJ graphical user interface, and we're going to outline the leaf. Um, in order to do that, what you want to do is you want to left click and hold to start the outline, and then just go ahead and outline the entire leaf. I'm going to, for ease of outlining purposes, cut off a little bit of the corners of the leaf, which will also probably decrease our counts, but um, you do what you got to do. Now go to Edit, Clear Outside. And then go to Image, Adjust, Color Threshold. Um, and we are going to select the threshold 0 to 47. Um, we already have all of the saturation. We're going to select all of the brightness, except we're going to exclude the whitest of the white. Go ahead and select. And process, binary, make binary. Um, that should be our dots right there. Um, there's a little bit of extra dottiness. We're going to open up the original image so we can kind of compare and contrast. Uh, if you look closely, it's a bit of dottiness that has nothing to do with the actual bacterial spots, so we're going to go ahead, and there's not really, um, well there's a, a few big ones too, so we'll go ahead and um, select the um, paintbrush and maybe get rid of some of those. Missed one on the edge. Um, these ones down here, I'm fairly certain they're not anything to do with bacterial leaf spot. And there's still a little bit of dottiness around here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and remove some noise. We're going to go to Process, Noise, Remove Outliers. Um, we have pixels of 2, um, dark. Let's click on the preview to see what it does. Uh, that looks good. It gets rid of the little dots, so a uh, diameter of 2 seems to, or radius of 2 works just fine. Okay. Um, now we're going to go to Analyze, Analyze Particles. Go ahead and um, okay. So we're gonna have the whole range uh, for the size and the circularity. Um, I do want it to show my outlines again. Um, then everything else, all the other options are the same. Go ahead and click OK. Uh, and this gives us our processed image. If you notice, the count is way lower. It's 55. Um, we're gonna go ahead and record that. Um, so we have the. Um, scan spots and photo spots, record photo spots as 55, which is literally 50 spots less 
than um, with our last image. Um, then we're going to save these with a unique name um, for record keeping purposes. Okay, photo count. Call that one um, uh, maybe like processed or something. I think we'll know what that means. And close that one. Say that one as well. Honestly, it really doesn't matter that much what you save it as. Um, maybe black spots. Just so you know what it is. Well, that's that. Thank you so much for watching our video. It's the first and hopefully a series of videos that we're going to be doing about how to use ImageJ and various other subjects. If you could please like our video, that would be awesome. And also please subscribe to our channel and hopefully we'll have more movies for you soon.